Jake. All right. Thanks, Adam. All right. To start off, where are you getting a bench from? So as we mentioned in the uh, quick summary, the winner was Rep with 44% of the votes. Rogue received 32% of the votes. Titan had just under 8% and then other voted 7%. Back in November, we asked simply, which bench option are you going to choose, Rep or Rogue? So it's not quite one-to-one, -one, but still gives you a little bit of a, what did it look like in the past? And Rep barely won with 52% of the votes versus 48%. But uh, what did you guys vote for? So uh, on this one, I, I had no choice but to click on rep. I mean, if you've seen the pictures on the Instagram account, you know, I start, I've got two rep benches now. And as soon as I got my first one, I got the flat bench. And, you know, I saw the quality there. I figured I only need the one. I'm okay. And I mean, that lasted all of like three weeks. And then I said, okay, as soon as there's a sale on the, uh, the adjustables, I'm going in. So when I had the opportunity, that that's it. So I voted with my dollars there. And I've got two rep benches here. The rogues are, are fantastic, but I figured if I was going to have a flat and an adjustable, might as well save a little bit of a little bit of dough, go to rep, stay with those those grippy pads. Yeah, I also voted rep just because it's the the cost mainly and the fact that you're you're paying less and you're still getting a heavy duty bench that that's going to last. So, yep, I voted rep. Yeah, I I voted rep as well. There's just a. Uh... A huge lineup now, so you can pretty much get anything from a really basic option all the way up to a pretty premium bench. And then the Rogue bench is, if you get something with, that's one-to-one, -one, while the quality might be a little bit better, some people mention the price is still, you know, probably a couple hundred dollars more after shipping. And then the rep benches are already pretty high quality. So it's tough to really get too much better when the reps quality is all you need. But yeah. Do you guys have any other thoughts on this question? Kind of taking it off of um, our, our recent post on Instagram, other benches. I noticed a couple people mentioning like get our X benches, which I don't have a lot of experience with any others out there. You know, it's, it's funny you mentioned GetRx. Uh, when I was looking at the, at the rep bench, the AB5200, that was the other bench in contention. And the thing that kind of took it out of the running for me was the shipping. It was just, I think they're coming out of Texas, right? So on the East Coast here for me, it was like an extra 250 just to ship it. And that's at that point, you could buy another bench. So that really wasn't an option. Right. The FID AB2, I will say, is just as good as the rep benches. It's really solid quality. And there's actually a little bit more versatility you can do with like the dumbbell holders. And they're pretty much the same bench. Like Mike mentioned, it's tough to really tell the difference outside of a few different things. But yeah, the shipping gets you. Even with the, they recently updated to FedEx, but it's still, you know, $100 more than the rep option. So that's why I still would recommend rep. But yeah, the GitRx bench, um, while we're talking about it, received like a, in the most recent hot or not survey, like 46% hot or not, like hot versus like 90 something percent for the AB5200. And while I think the GitRx, I would like, if I had to buy it myself, I'd probably just go with the AB5200. The difference was not, it was not what it should have been. It should have been 50%. like neck and neck, you know? Yeah, right. pretty close. So that shows you how like strong that rep bench brand is as well. Yeah. It's all recognition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 